Hello, Hello, this is James from Gospel Trailworks, and today I'll be talking about, uh, well, practically, what I'm going to be doing for the scenery on this test track. I said, while it's just a test track, and I don't really want it to be overly scenery, uh, well, uh, overly scenic, I do want some just so that you don't just look at a blank board. And, <laughs> quite frankly, it's always good to have some practice. So what should I do? Um, well, I have got some ideas out. I've got a Sharpie pen just so I know what I'm doing. Over here, probably not overly long. I'll be doing a station. Mainly just to cover up these um, wires. Yes, that's the station. Oh, well, yeah, you can see on the, uh, the camera. So, yes, that's one thing done. Uh, so, I'll do a tunnel. Everyone likes a tunnel. Uh, like I said, when you're designing a layout yourself, you probably want to use something like Trackcad or anywhere or something like that. Then. What I normally do is I print out the actual layout on a bit of paper, then I draw on the layout what I'm going to be doing. But with this track, right, this layout, it was just built to be a test track. So scenery was not thought of, which is why I'm doing it like this. Anyway, uh, what else can I have? Well. Uh, I'll put um, station here. It'll be upside down for you, but I can't write upside down. So, uh, what can I have over here? If I make it end over here, but um, yeah, I plan to build this out of mostly paper mache because it'll be light. And it wouldn't be too difficult to build for me. So yes, um, well, it's into the station, probably some houses or something like that. Uh, I could probably build some houses over here. Houses and so I have a crossing up here or up over here. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have a tunnel here because everyone likes tunnels. Tunnel from there to over here. Up a hill. So I have a tunnel here. And good shed will be probably the easiest bit of here. Good shed. There we go. Uh, probably can't quite see all that well. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'll show you after it's. <laughs> or just. So I built this out of some scrap wood. Move a light stand. Yeah, I made this out of scrap of wood, which was came from a desk. So it's quite heavy. Well built, but heavy. So I can't really drill down into underneath because quite frankly that'll take I don't know a fair while. But uh, yes, good shed. Uh, I can't actually have a proper engine shed because I've already nailed F into the to layout and I'm not taking out the pins again. Uh, what else? Uh, Every it can be wood. 
wood and trees everywhere not going to draw all the way around I can't be asked anymore and what can I have in the middle I was thinking of like a farm or something like that I might try putting a very basic crossing down just by the station my legs cramping up because I'm sat in an awkward way um, <laughs> so the station won't be overly long so crossing exiting uh, should we have a more urban theme or should we just have you could have an urban theme uh, the station will probably have to come out a bit further. Yeah, so it's probably better to build, well, to draw on, as I said, the actual computer, well, print it out. Print it out, layout. And let's see. But yes. I do realise I'll probably have to put some more um, wires to the power over here. I'm not too sure if I really want to um, ballast it, but I probably should because that will be an actual good video to show to you guys, anybody who's newer or than me or people who are just not confident. I can show them how I do ballasting, which is actually quite bad. Um, <laughs> But yes, uh, so the woods over here. Uh, it's going to leave a bit of space. So we can actually expand the station out. Uh, put a couple of houses around here. Don't want to do too much. I want to put a farm up here. Farm on hill. There we go. What else? So there's a road comes up here. Goes over here. Good said. So I'll probably put another road over here, but I can do that during construction. I also need to make sure I put enough gap between the, ha uh, the scenery and also the tracks so that longer coaches can go around quite easily because there will be a lot of overhang. Unfortunately, with um, my first layout when him down I did not leave enough overhang so you're gonna have rather small gardens over here um, <laughs> but yeah I still need to fix when him down oh, lots of bloody hair the problem with it being on the floor is that hair like bits and bobs get stuck everywhere. I will probably be putting uh, little rubber feet on the bottom, drilling them into the, well not drilling them, screwing them into the bottom just to raise it up just that little bit, just to give a bit of clearance from the ground. Uh, another, another road coming up here. Goes up to hill. And now there, 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 and there. There we go. And he'll be like that. So there's our hill. I have to build it up slowly. 
make sure I get remember to make sure there is clearance for everything underneath. So what to do over here? Look at that, but no. There's some shops here. Not too sure what kits I'll make for these. Your med calf or uh, scale uh, scale scenes, or maybe just build them myself. And there uh, shop. Not buying houses all the time. <laughs> what else? Uh, I think this could be park. Uh, I won't be putting any water features on this layout because again, I'm not drilling anything into this baseboard. Pretty much, maybe except for the wires which go over here. That's just to make sure that everything stays well connected. Um, a name for this layout I've not even thought of. Is anybody in, say, in the audience? But anybody sat at home, can think of a name for me that would be quite helpful for me, because I am quite bad at names. Uh, let's put chat over here. On my other layout has a pub, so why don't we balance it out with a church? <laughs> Over here, no turn around. That church is a fairly big, so. Uh, let's put it, uh, put it that way around, or also put it that way around. I'll put a double around and have a little This one's not going into my hand, I still don't know what that mark is. Um Church and Most of it. Um, I'll probably leave this blank. It's glass, it's scenery. Yeah, I don't want to put too much over there. I may put a house, maybe a post office, or something like that. I can fit in there. So this be turn around, so a little turn around a bit. No idea what to do. Ooh, you can't even see on the camera. I have no idea what to do down here. Uh, what's running time? Uh, it's not too long. I'm trying to make sure I don't do videos which are too long because I'm quite sure you don't want to sit and watch me do what well, is basically naff all apart from just drawing, doodling. Apparently, people like me drawing and doodling. Yeah, let's see. Should I put a house or a place of work down here? There's no slight bit of industry to use this good shed. Oh yeah, I've got some shops. Um, <laughs> I might put, put more for woods over here. So don't know. Is it time for me to sort of that? You know that that's going up. Uh, I might just leave them blank for now. Because pretty much that's. I'm happy with that for now. Except for this corner. 
if everybody has any ideas for the corners or no corner or this bit over here do let me know so Yes. Yeah, that's too bad. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Probably too much glare. Or light. Oh, that's from the light outside, which I can't do anything about. So it's a bit tricky holding this. Put the pen down. Yeah, a different thing for scenery for a test track. I said that we mostly firmly fix down or removable, and I can just stick them in a box. So I don't really want to have too many things which I have to remove. Uh, might try some Kestrel kits, see if they do anything. May have to rearrange things on the fl no, on the move, but yeah. <laughs> Right. Alright. Hopefully by next video I'll be building up uh what was it? The side at uh, corners because I do like to have these corners at least built up just to if a train goes you know, running amok, I do like to have some sort of barrier. <laughs> and it just gives it a bit more you no, know, having a bit more you no know, land popping up I'll just give it a bit more can, I'm always crap with words it seems oh, it gives a bit more no realistic look I don't want to say realistic because it's a tiny layout no, it gives a bit more see, no, a nicer look still bothered by this corner but oh well does anyone really in the audience well again I say audience anybody sat at home that has any ideas for this corner or this bit here Write it in the comment section. Because I cannot, for the foggiest, work it out. <laughs> anyway, as I said, next time you'll be seeing me building up the land. And I will probably be forgetting where everything is. I'll have to keep looking back at this video. <laughs> anyway, this has been James from Gosport Railworks. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care.